Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In this video, we will see one more way to run Apex code asynchronously and that is queable Apex. So in previous video, we have seen feature method batch Apex. Both are used to run Apex code asynchronously. In the same way, queable Apex is used for the asynchronous Apex. Queable Apex is essentially a superset of feature methods. What is the meaning of this? Queable Apex is similar to feature methods. but Queable Apex has more advantages compared to the feature methods or whatever the limitations are there in feature methods, those are overcome by Queable Apex. So see, Queable jobs are similar to feature methods in that they are both queued for the execution. That means feature methods and Queable Apex both are similar and both are used to create asynchronous processes. But Queable Apex has more benefits compared to the feature methods. And what are those benefits? So here we will see. So look at this. These are the benefits. First benefit is getting an ID for your job. So in Queable Apex, we get ID for the asynchronous process. See again I am repeating. In Queable Apex, we get ID for the asynchronous process. Look at this. When you submit your job by invoking system.nq job method, the method returns the ID of new job. This ID corresponds to the ID of async Apex job record. Use this ID to identify and monitor your job either through the Salesforce UI or programmatically by querying your record from the async Apex job. So in Queable Apex, we get ID for the asynchronous job or asynchronous process. Now see, second benefit is using non-primitive types. So if you have seen my feature method video, so in that we have seen, in feature method, we cannot use non-primitive data types, right? But in queable Apex, here we can use non-primitive data types. And how to use? In example, we will see. So here you can see, your queable class can contain member variables of non-primitive data types, such as yes objects or custom Apex types. Those objects can be accessed when the job executes. So that means in queable Apex, we can use non-primitive data types. Now see, third advantage of queable Apex, chaining jobs. So see in feature method, we have seen, we cannot call another feature method from the running feature method, right? See, again I repeat, we cannot call another feature method from the running or current feature method, right? So that was the disadvantage or limitation of feature method. But that is not the case with the queable Apex. In queable Apex, we can make use of another queable class. In queable Apex, in running process, we can call another process. So that is the advantage of queable Apex. So see, you can chain one job to another job by starting a second job from the running job, right? You can start another job from the running job. Chaining jobs is useful if your process depends on another process to have run first. So this is one advantage of chaining job. If your running process is dependent on another process, so that process also we can call in running process. Okay, now see how to implement queable Apex. So see, it is very simple. We have to create one Apex class as usual. And in that Apex class, we have to implement queable interface. See, again I repeat, we have to create one Apex class. And in that Apex class, we have to implement queable interface. And this interface has one method. That method name is execute. So after implementing this queable interface, we have to also implement this execute method of this interface. So see, this interface has one method execute. So in that class, in our Apex class, we have to implement execute method. We will see one example. So see, here I have created one Apex class, queable example one. So already we have seen for queable Apex, we have to implement one interface queable. Right? This queable interface has one method, execute. So that method we have to implement. Implement in the sense we have to write code for that method. So see, here we have implemented this method. And what we are doing in this method? So see, we are fetching records from the lead object. And in all those records, we are changing company name. So see, in our example, what we will do, instead of Vipro, here we will write TCS. Now see. What we are doing, 
we are fetching all the records from the lead object and in those records we are changing company name to tcs right okay we will save it now see we will run this code so see for that we have to create object of this class so see we will open anonymous window what we have to do we have to create object of this class right so in our example we have created queable example one class right then we have to call nq job method this method belongs to system class so see we have to call nq job method this method belongs to system class that's why we have to write like this system dot nq job and this object we have to pass to this nq job method now see in advantages we have seen we get id of asynchronous process right so here you can see here we got job id right so this nq job method returns id of asynchronous process now we will run this code by clicking on execute button okay now see so previously it was vipro right previously it was vipro and see in our code what we have written we want to change company name to tcs right okay but previously it was vipro right okay now we will click on refresh grid so here you can see company name is changed to tcs for all these records company name is changed to tcs right okay and in log if you see so here you can see queable handler right so in log you can see we have created queable asynchronous process right okay now see we will close it okay now see we have seen one more advantage of queable apex right we can make use of another queable class in running queable class right so that is not possible with a future method but it is possible in queable apex right so see we will see one example so see what here i have done i have created another class see queable example 2 here also i have implemented queable interface and there i am implementing execute method right so see what we will do here we will make it pict something like this okay now see we have created this another class right and here we are changing company name to pict dash new right so see here we are setting company name to pict and same code here i have written but here we are changing company name to pict dash new right okay now see what we will do now see what we are doing here we are creating object of this class right queable example 2 here we are creating one object we have given name obj2 here we are calling nq job method and to this nq job method we are passing obj2 object so basically what we are doing in this class we are making use of another queable class right in this class we are making use of another queable class or in other words you can say in this queable process we are calling another queable process so see that was not possible with the future method but it is possible in queable apex right so see what we will do we will run this and we will check whether it is possible or not okay again we will click on execute button okay it is done so basically what we are doing we are changing company name to pict and later on we are changing to pict dash new right let us see so see previously it was pcs right okay now we will click on refresh grid so see it has changed to pict right it has changed to pict then again we are calling another queable process right and in that process we are changing company name to pict dash new right so see again we will click on refresh grid okay so here you can see company name is changed to pict dash new right so see previously it was tcs then by this queable apex it got changed to pict and here we are calling another queable process right and in this queable process we are changing company name to pict dash new right so here you can see company name got changed to pict dash new so in this way we can call another queable asynchronous process from the running queable process okay so we have seen queable apex and also we have seen simple example i will provide this program code in my udemy course you can download program code from these resources okay we will meet in next video thank you